Kieran Cobbley of News MMA here at the Grand Opening Parade MMA in Chesterfield in partnership with MMA Play 365, giving the edge in MMA. I'm here with head coach of Parade MMA, Kev Taylor. Kev, this has been an unbelievable journey to get here to set up your own facility in your own gym in Chesterfield. Uh, what's it like being down here and seeing everyone come in for the opening? And uh, you know, how, how does it feel? Uh, I'm absolutely overwhelmed uh, with the support. Um, I didn't expect the turnout we've got today. Um, just yeah, really, really happy. A lot of hard work on into it. Like, let's, let's, like 18 hour shifts, getting it ready after three weeks. You mentioned the hard work there. Obviously, we've seen uh, pictures on the uh, on your social media of how you've transformed the building from like a bit of a shell into this amazing facility. Um, sort of how, how how many hours have had to go into that? How much preparation and how much you know? What, what's it taking to get it to this point? Well, um, obviously, all the weights we got from Brampton Manor is closing down. Unfortunately, our gain. I uh, went in and, and bid on the weights and got them. Um, the, the cage actually, had, we had to drive to the Brecon Beacons in Wales to get that. Just for financial purposes, it was a great deal. Uh, all the mats that are on the floor are old judo mats. We got off them at the top end of near Scotland and drove them back as well. So it's been a lot bigger all over the country and a big, massive effort. Obviously, we had a lot of help from uh, Elm joinery. Um, there's too many to name. They've had so much help as well and support. Now, we know previously the uh, Parada was based at the local gym in Chesterfield uh, and there was issues there with using their facilities and, you know, how, you know, prepping for the sessions and having to rub down after sessions. What, you know, what are the benefits now of having their own facility in, uh, in, in Chesterfield? So, I'm, I'm under no one else's terms. I can, I can do whatever I want. It's, it's our gym. We can, it, I run it as a clubhouse, so it's not, there's no clicky feel, there's no politics. It's just come in, have a brew, have a roll. Or just come in, do some weights, whatever you want to do. It's there's no stress and no contracts, no no messing anybody around. It's a proper community gym, and that's how I've always wanted it. Now uh, the gym's an SPG affiliate. We've seen Matt Iman down here today. He's the head coach at SPG Manchester. He's came to the first ever seminar down here. What's it been like getting him to come down and uh, you know t t have your students for a two-hour seminar? Well, it's just absolutely amazing to have Matt down. Um, I've known him for 11, 12 years now. We're at the doors with him. Uh, been in some wars in Manchester, the doors with him. Um, I've trained with him for multiple years and I would never ever wanted another person in there doing the first seminar than Matt Iman. Other than obviously Carl, but he's not with us anymore. Kev's um, done a lot of hard work down there obviously and he's opened a, a really good facility, um, Prider MMA. It's going to be, be great for anyone who's interested in uh, mixed martial arts or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in Chesterfield, so you should come check it out. Yeah, now you obviously, you're here at the grand opening, uh, you've done the first ever seminar here. What's that been like for yourself to come down here and see the amount of students that Kev's potentially got here that want to want to study and learn off, learn off him? Yeah, it's been really good to come down here and uh, teach a seminar. Um, great turnout and uh, everyone really really hungry to learn and a, a good group of guys um, training. What was it, So Par Parade has opened early in 2020. Uh, we've spoken to a couple of fighters, Conrad, uh, a couple of other guys. Yeah, what, if, what's, uh, what does 2020 hold for Parade MMA and the fighters uh, within it? I've got a lot of options at the moment. I've got a lot of um, inboxes from different promotions uh, offering different fights. Um, so it's going to be a busy 2020. I've got a lot of upcoming fighters. Uh, Bert's away for eight weeks, unfortunately. He's away in Australia. He already planned travelling. Uh, but he'll be coming back, getting back on it. He had a real tough fight last time. From a, uh, got beat off Adam Cullen, but he's vastly experienced. Uh, Pearl Ball and Jiu Jitsu, where Bert's been training 11 months. Adam Cullen's been training like seven years, but Bert took the fight, three rounds, absolute war. Kind of was the same. Fought a really, really talented guy that's been training a long time from a big gym, ASW. And Conrad went distance with him. Wasn't really put under much pressure. Um, but it's all learning. And uh, I've got a, a good few lads going through. I've got my son. Uh, he's 14, he's unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. He's going to be a black belt before me. He's ridiculous. Uh, this is James Rope, he's, he's coming on leaps and bounces. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've got Tom Key, I've got Donna Malloy, who's an absolutely sensational female fighter. She's a really one to watch out for. She had a couple of setbacks with injuries, but she's really one to watch. And for her, well, it's, it's well deserved. He's put the graft in over Christmas just continuously built it up. He said he was going to do it. He's got it done in roughly about two months, which is amazing. And he deserves it all. Now, you've, you've obviously trained with Kev for a while. Now. You've seen what the setup was like before. Uh, training at a local gym in town and uh, sort of use their equipment. You know, how much of a benefit now is it that you don't have to go to this gym? You can come straight to Parada. And we can do it all here. We can focus it all here. 
previously in the last place we had to lift the mats up because we were sharing it with I think it was also a dance studio so now we've got this it's ours the cage is set up the weights are already here it's just a much better build for especially through camp we're not we spotted about we're just going to do camp here drill it here and that's pretty much the benefits of it to be honest yeah, so you mentioned camp there then. Um, what, what, you know, obviously early in 2020 now. What's the plan for 2020 for you? Is it, uh, we're looking yeah. for March, hopefully. Hopefully March. And we're not sure what, what, where we're going to be fighting or who we're going to be fighting, but we're set for March, pretty much. And how many fighters do you want to go in the year? I know uh, a lot of fighters like to stay, try and stay active, especially at amateur level. Is that something you're going to get for, or is it just take as many as, uh, as when they come? Um, uh, I'd say, on average, between three or four. So that way, three will be... Let's say if there's two fights and two of them, are, let's say wars, for example, then I maybe not go for the fourth. But if I can get through the three fairly reason with reason less less damage if possible, then I'd say four if possible. Yeah. Oh, it's it's amazing. Um, me, Kevin, James have all put in a tremendous amount of hours. Especially Kev, he's you know he's pinnacle to success here at Prada. It's just it's been a, it's been a crazy month, but it'll all be worth it soon. So. Now, obviously, you've trained with Kev for a while. You saw the setup that he used to have. I trained at a local gym in Chesterfield. Um, you know, how, how much of a, how much better off are you now that you've actually got a dedicated space for Parada? Um, we're a lot better located within the swimming pool and stuff. You know, everything's close by. We've got weights here on on um, in the gym itself. We've got a cage in the gym, so it's it's all helped for every all the fighters. You know, amateur going on to professional and everyone here involved at uh, Parada. So. Now, Parada's an SPG affiliate. They've had uh, Matt Inman down here today, the head coach of SPG Manchester, uh, doing a seminar. What's it like to have guys like that coming down and you know instructing and doing seminars? Oh, it's just it's amazing. It's just Kev's got all these links, and it's just it's incredible uh, who he's trained with and everyone. It's just amazing to be a part of it and just continue, well, start my own journey with Kev and all the Parada team and the SPG team. So yeah, it's good. Now you mentioned your own journey there. You're two and one at a minute amateur level. There's a photo of you up in the gym. I think it's Almighty, uh, one of your last wins. Uh, what's the plan for you going in 2020? Uh, 2020, I've, um, I'm off travelling to Thailand and Australia, so get as much training out, uh, as I can over there, um, and then come back and hit, hit the training hard, you know, get in, get in camp throughout the whole year, hopefully a couple of fights, uh, hopefully a title fight end of next year, uh, start of 2021, you know, looking at that uh, UKFC uh, title. It's great, to be honest. We're going to see a lot more fighters. We've seen the fighters, Teddy Stringer, the Burt Jenkins coming up. I think with this new facility he's got now, great facility, got everything you need. We're going to see a lot more fighters coming out of here and it's going to be a lot more for us to talk about as well. Yeah. So we obviously know the Penelope set up Kev had, who done to train at a local gym in the town. Um, they're, they're having to do a lot of fuffling with like mats and stuff like that. Now that they don't have that anymore, do you think that's going to be how much of a strength is that going to be to them? Oh yeah, this is another kind of schedule they can keep following. Whereas they don't, the previous one, I think they shared it, didn't they? So they have to keep taking mats down. Obviously now it's their place, so they do what they want. They do what they like with it. They train whenever they want. It was, like, it was restricted last place they went, so train whenever they want. It's something they're, they're only going to get better through it, I think. Yep. So, mate, and what, would, what do you see for Parada this year? Is it, uh, do you see a few more amateur titles on their way for them? Oh yeah, I see a couple of the guys, Bert Jenkins, Conrad Walters. I've seen them picking up titles towards the end of the year. I've seen a bit of them in action. Obviously, they suffered defeats last two, but they both faced experienced fighters. Fared pretty well. But at the end of the year, I do see them both with championships, yeah. Right. And before we wrap this up, is there any shout outs you want to make? Oh, everyone. Steve Jenkins, Bert's dad. Um, he did all the plumbing, he fit the shower in. Josh Lees, he did all the, all the electrics. Uh, Elm joined with him, Matt Prince. Did all the framework, did the, our front door. Oh, Steve Schiff from Ultra Refrigeration. They sorted out all the light fittings, all the LEDs. Oh, everybody in it helps. Ben Kellock, Tom Key, James and Burr, my wife. Everybody that's helped. Everybody. That's, I'm, so, I'm so grateful. Okay, right, thank you for your time. The best of the parada. It's, it's been amazing seeing this, how you transformed it in. I can't wait to see the uh, sort of talent you're going to be producing through Chessfield MMA now. Thank you. Right, cheers, man.